Hello and welcome back to SignalWire in Seconds. As you know, the SignalWire AI agent is a groundbreaking solution that revolutionizes customer service with its easy integration and scalability, enabling organizations of all sizes to deliver intelligent, interactive, and human-like conversations to their customers. Today, Len will introduce you to Thermal Thrillers, an AI agent demo designed for HVAC companies that is available 24-7. The digital assistant, Raquel, can handle tasks such as answering calls, scheduling appointments, and collecting essential customer information in real time. Built with SignalWire markup language in a serverless environment, Raquel can adapt to different instructions depending on the time of the day. This AI demo showcases how one can quickly build proof-of-concept applications using SignalWire's tools and services to build innovative products. Now let's send it over to Len, who will walk you through how Raquel works in real time. Hello and welcome to SignalWire.com. My name is Len, and we're, today we're going to check out Thermal Thriller. So, what is Thermal Thrillers? It is a digital employee that will work with you um, to take calls and schedule appointments. So in this example is around an HVAC company. So let's give it a call. Thank you for calling Thermal Thrillers. I am a digital employee. How may I help you? Yeah, I'm having troubles with my AC unit. I'm unable to diagnose the issue, but I can help you schedule an appointment with one of our technicians. Could you please provide me with some information to assist our technician? Sure. Great. Let's start by getting the service address, okay. including the city and state where the issue is. Sure, it is 228 Hamilton Avenue, third floor, Palo Alto, California, 94301. One moment, please. One moment. I have verified the address. It is 2 and 28 Hamilton Avenue, third floor, Palo Alto, CA 94301-2583, USA. Next, are you the current customer of Thermal Thrillers? Yes. Great. Are you the property owner or yes. are you a tenant? I'm the address? property owner, yes. I'm sorry. I didn't quite catch that. Are you the property owner at this address? Or yes, are you a tenant? I'm the property owner. As the property owner, may I have your name and contact number for scheduling purposes? Sure, this is Jim Smith, and use the number I'm calling from. Thank you. Jim, is this property a rental, or do you reside there yourself? I reside there. Is this property residential, commercial, or industrial? It is res residential. Have there been any previous repairs or services performed on your AC unit? I don't think so. What is the make and model of your AC unit? It is an X2000. How old is your AC unit, approximately? I'd say it's about 20 years old. Is your AC unit currently under warranty or a maintenance contract? Under a maintenance contract? Thank you for providing all the information. Is there any additional information you would like to share about the issue with your AC unit? Yeah, it's making this weird sound that's going ding, 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 ding. Thank you for sharing that information. Let me summarize our conversation. We have verified the address as 228 Hamilton Avenue, third floor, Palo Alto, CA 94301-2583, USA. You, Jim Smith, the property owner, reside at this residential property. The AC unit is an X2000, approximately 20 years old, and not under warranty, but under a maintenance contract. You mentioned a strange sound like ding, ding, ding. Would you like me to send a message with these details for your reference? Yes, please. Sounds good. You'll receive the message in just a moment. A message with the details has been sent to you. A technician will be calling you back shortly to arrange service for your AC unit. Thank you for choosing Thermal Thrillers. All right, thanks. All right, so here's our summary of the message that was just sent. Uh, I'm trying to get that unlearned. All right, that's our call. And let me just show you 
real quick. This is what it looks like on the back end. So let's move this again. Okay. There we go. So this is what it looks like. We have um, just regular JSON. This is how everything looks. This is the structure. The example on the website, you just go to the JSON and you'll copy and paste this entire, so just control A, control C, and put that into your uh, signal wire markup language, so the SWML section of the dashboard. And so just look at this real quick. Now we answer the call, we record it, and there's our prompt and post prompt. So the prompt tells, gives instructions on how the call flow is going to be. And the uh, post prompt is what we're going to do with that data after the call. So we can save it as like a CSV file or as an um, anonymous JSON object and use it uh, somewhere in like a database if you wanted to. And just to scroll down, we have our functions right here. And this is send message, verify address. And everything that goes with that, um, uh, the pre or per function um, fillers is uh, something where you can uh, like specify something that's more personable after that function executes. So uh, since we were sending a message, I said sounds good. Uh, you'll see the message in just a moment. So you can kind of um, fine tune how how you want our digital employee to respond once that function is is executed so i want to thank you for stopping by today and make sure you check us out at signalwire.com um, my name is lynn and have a great day so harnessing the power of signalwire for free today by signing up for a signalwire space and exploring our developer documentation at developer.signalwire.com and for more signalwire in seconds don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.